Um, so last time we were talking about uh, multi-path fading, and we basically got down to the point where um, we were talking about two separate paths and the impact of the phase uh, relationship between those two paths, um, both incident on um, both incident on the receive antenna. So let's have a let's have a quick example to remind ourselves of what's going on. So let's have an example. We've got a transmit antenna here, receive antenna here, and there are two paths. Uh, one path uh, with a certain distance d1, and another path with a certain distance d2. So in this example, we're going to say uh, d1 minus d2 is equal to 1.5 meters. And the frequency is 100 megahertz. And we'll say, um, uh, give a simplified expression. the received signal. And when I say uh, simplified expression, basically what I mean is using one sinusoid. So um, the received signal, let's say uh, the signal strength on each branch is equal. So as a receiver, as a receiver we observe, um, sine 2 pi f t, so this is the first path, sine 2 pi f t plus the phase difference inherent in, uh, in the path, which is 2 pi, uh, 2 pi f d1 over c. So remember how I calculated that. Um, the number of cycles from the transmitter to the receiver is d1 divided by the wavelength lambda, uh, but the, the wavelength lambda is equal to c divided by f, so that's just substituting back in there. And the second signal plus sine 2 pi f c t, excuse me, 2 pi f t plus 2 pi f d2 over c. So to get this down to a single sinusoid, we will need the trig identity uh, sine A plus sine B is equal to 2 sine A plus B over 2 cos A minus B over 2. So this, let's call that star, star is equal to 2. Okay, the arguments summed up together, I get 2 pi of t plus 2 pi of t divided by 2, which is 2 pi of t, 2 pi of d1 over c plus 2 pi f e 2 over c divided by 2 is pi f um, e 1 plus d 2 over c. Now this I don't really care about. That's just the phase shift as far as the receiver is concerned. So let's just call that beta r. This doesn't really affect anything as long as I can track that phase. It doesn't change the amplitude uh, of, the, of the sinusoid. It just shifts its phase. Uh, the other term, cos a minus b, okay, 2 pi f t minus 2 pi f t is 0. 2 pi f d1 over c minus 2 pi f d2 over c divided by 2 is pi f. Um, D1 minus D2 over C. So 
So let's just simplify that a little more. Equals two. This is now this is now uh, not a function of t anymore. So this is this is actually scaling the amplitude. So I'll pull that out front. Two cos pi f d one minus d two over c times sine two pi f t plus theta. So if you like, this is the fading, and this is just the signal. So our signal, our sinusoidal signal got through, but it's scaled by this term, which I'm going to call the fading. So what do I have? I have two posts. is 1.5. Well, let's, uh, I'm just going to leave it like that and figure out what this internal term is. So we have uh, pi f d1 minus d2 over c is equal to, what was f again? 100 megahertz. D1 minus D2 was what? 1.5 meters. Divided by the speed of light, which is what? 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Does anyone know? Okay. Um, just doing the unit analysis here. Meters cancels with meters. Um, how does Hertz? relate to seconds. Hertz is 1 over seconds, that's right. So um, this is equal to pi 1 times 10 to the 8 Hertz, which is 1 over seconds, and that makes the units work out. 1.5 meters divided by 3 times 10 to the 8 um, meters per second. So if I divide out 3 here, I get 0.5 divided by 1 times 10 to the 8. So this is equal to uh, 1 half pi, it should be. So 1 times 10 to the 8 divides by 1 times 10 to the 8, and I'm left with 1.5 divided by 3, which is 0.5 times pi. So it's pi over 2. So this is now equal to 2 cos pi over 2, sine blah. What's cos pi over 2? Zero. zero. So this is zero. So fading squash the signal. Because, and it squashed the signal because uh, the two legs of the signal, d1 and d2, were exactly uh, half a wavelength apart. Okay, um, I'd like to make a comment right now. Uh, I started out talking last time about power, and I'd just like to make a comment about that. 